here's today's In Touch devotion. Today's scripture reading begins in verse 1 of 1 Peter, chapter 1. Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to those who reside as aliens scattered throughout Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia, who are chosen according to the foreknowledge of God the Father by the sanctifying work of the Spirit, to obey Jesus Christ and be sprinkled with His blood. May grace and peace be yours in the fullest measure. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who, according to His great mercy, has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to obtain an inheritance which is imperishable and undefiled and will not fade away, reserved in heaven for you, who are protected by the power of God through faith, for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. In this you greatly rejoice, even though now for a little while, if necessary, you have been distressed by various trials, so that the proof of your faith, being more precious than gold which is perishable, even though tested by fire, may be found to result in praise and glory and honor at the revelation of Jesus Christ. And though you have not seen Him, you love Him. And though you do not see Him now, but believe in Him, you greatly rejoice with joy inexpressible and full of glory, obtaining as the outcome of your faith the salvation of your souls. Do you have too much stuff? If you're like a lot of people, the answer is yes. The problem is that whatever we accumulate demands our time and attention. It must be obtained, maintained, organized, and eventually discarded or given away. But nothing comes with us when we die. Our security isn't found in possessions, but in our relationship with Christ. Peter assures us that those of us who are believers have an inheritance waiting for us in heaven, one that is safe and secure because we're not the ones guarding it. Our treasure, which is held and protected by God, cannot be stolen or ruined. It is imperishable. Heavenly treasure will never wear out or need fixing. It's forever new. It is undefiled. Our inheritance is pure and can't be spoiled by sin. And it's unfading. It's not affected by the passing of time and will never wear away or become less beautiful. Our eternal hope is secure, and in God's presence, everything will be perfect. When life is tough, we can find hope in knowing what awaits us in the future. This awareness increases our desire to live a holy life, because we know the perfection of our destiny, absolute holiness, and freedom from sin.